Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the vlog. Hey, thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting K Nutri, whether you've purchased the products, you follow the Instagram page, you've liked any of our photos. Uh, it truly means the world to me that there's a community out there uh, that appreciates what we're doing, uh, the movement that we're a part of, uh, and I'm extremely grateful uh, for all of you guys. So thank you for being a part of it, uh, and thanks for tuning in to watch today. So I'm just gonna explain uh, some of the workouts. Hopefully you can apply these to the next time you get in the gym. Uh, maybe you can follow it exactly or just take some bits and pieces. I've been doing some new programming under my coach, Justin. Uh, I asked him to help me get a little bit bigger. Those are my current goals right now. So my diet has also changed a bit to reflect that. I'm eating a bit more rice before my workouts. I'm having a bit more fruit. Um, again, just using those as tools to get uh, to the physical um, goals that I want right now. Uh, so I'll break these up into parts, but basically we're going to do a whole bunch of uh, supersets with small amounts of rest in them. I just did a warm up on the assault bike for five minutes, 30 seconds easy, 30 seconds hard. I did some light stretching and now I'm ready to start lifting. So the first part A1 is a rear foot elevated split squat. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but basically one of our foot, one of our feet is gonna be elevated on a bench. We're gonna hold two dumbbells and we're just gonna do a split squat. It's gonna look kind of like a lunge because our knee is gonna come all the way to the ground. Um, we're gonna do four sets of six with a small rest. Then we're gonna do a broad jump, which is pretty basic. We're just gonna do a long broad jump across uh, the gym here, uh, trying to go as far as possible with each jump. And then the last piece of that is gonna be a goblet wall sit. So we're just gonna sit up against the wall, holding a kettlebell in a goblet position. And we're just gonna be holding that for about 30 to 40 seconds. So this is gonna be a real leg burner, but after that it's all upper body. So I'll try to grind that out as soon as possible. So this second part, luckily everything else is just upper body stuff great because my legs are pooched but it's going to be alternating dumbbell bicep curls so just one two alternating till you get 12 per side and then we'll combine that with a seated dumbbell press which is just like a typical military press on a bench just go dumbbell up down get the range of motion and we'll do four sets of six there try to go a bit heavier rest a minute for both and just repeat that for four sets so We have kind of like two pieces left. This one is gonna be just a simple dumbbell preacher curl. So getting our arm over anything that kind of isolates it. I'm doing um, four sets of eight per side. And then a single arm dumbbell row, which again is just targeting the back. So we'll bend over and we'll just do a row with one arm at a time. Four sets of eight, so we'll couple those together with a minute rest. And that shouldn't take too long, that should be good. Okay, so we have one last thing to do. Again, like the other ones, it's gonna be coupled together. Um, these are probably two of my favorite exercises. I've only started doing them recently, but um, they feel awesome. They hit every part of your upper body in terms of your shoulders, 
um, and even some of your lats to stabilize. So it's called a single arm Arnold press with the opposite side doing a kettlebell hold. So pretty straightforward, one side will have a kettlebell being held in a front rack position while the other side does an Arnold press. An Arnold press is where you do a dumbbell press except you rotate back in at the bottom. So we'll alternate and do um, four sets of five per side. We'll try to go pretty heavy today. And then farmer's carry is the second part. Um, so again, these are one of my favorite exercises of all time. You're just literally carrying heavy kettlebells back and forth. We're gonna try to do 40 meters, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, depending on the length of the, uh, the gym over here. Um, that's good. So I'm excited to get after it. It's basically training to bring in all your groceries with one trip. So um, if you want a good one for the gym, I highly recommend pairing anything with uh, farmer's carry and definitely trying that first part as well. sunglasses you're squinting yeah i try to keep my eyes open um so that was a really fun workout it's really bright it's yeah. super it's sunny outside. here it's, <laughs> i i suggested that we do the outro over here so bear with me while i squint through this camera um it's a beautiful day uh that was an awesome workout i had a lot of fun doing it it's uh sunday we just finished a morning workout so got the rest of my day to hang out chill uh, recoup a bit and get a fresh week started but that was awesome that was a lot of fun uh, thanks to my coach Justin and his program uh, gradient movement for that programming um, I'm four weeks into some new stuff that I've been working with which is mostly bodybuilding and I'm really enjoying it uh, again I mess around with my diet a bit and it seems like it's been working for me to add in a bit more carbs for this kind of volume um, and again thank you everyone for watching and supporting K Nutri it means the world to me and our team and we've got a couple of cool new things coming for you uh, one of them i mentioned before is a bca powder uh, with grass by collagen it's an amazing product um, we added vitamin b6 and b12 to it with an electrolyte blend of sodium magnesium and potassium uh, sugar free it comes in three delicious flavors which i can't tell you right now so stay tuned on our instagram um, if you're on our email list you'll get some pretty exclusive emails for that as well uh, but it's coming in about a month, so I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, the research and development process of really finding the right flavors and formula have been pretty incredible. Um, I've been using the powder uh, a couple times a day, just sipping on it, and then also before my workouts. Uh, and it's been a really great tool, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. Uh, and if you're watching this video and you got this far, then you're one of the first people to know about it. So uh, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, stay focused. Be consistent, uh, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. Hopefully, we got more co uh, great content coming for you guys.